Hey guys, how are you doing? I was uh, intentionally making this video for me, you know, some kind of a reminder to myself. Uh, you know, in a few months or years, because this uh, <laughs> freaking thing happened. Uh, uh this uh how can i say some kind of phenomenon no it's not a phenomenon it's just like a uh feeling like uh this emotion uh thingy going on through here uh it's been happening quite often and i try to fix it by myself but still you know uh maybe this <laughs> will be like the last time i ever get to like advise myself before i you know lose it all or something you know i i've been like uh for trying to like make youtube videos for a living and trying to balance that with like uh, a lot of stuff uh, including uh, my studies and stuff, you know. And uh, it's it's still uh, uh, a really hazy time for me, you know. Even after uh, secondary school, it's it's much harder, I guess, you know, for me to actually you know have a friend even though th they're all from different places and it's 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 rare for me to see them every single weekday you know it's not like the school days where you can actually like go to school and you know meet them every single day you know f f uh, from recess and stuff like that you know now in college days it's it's harder you know and every time when I need to like see them when I'm at home I have to like go out and I <laughs> even though I can still walk you know still some of them they don't have time for me I guess you know I didn't ask you know and walking has become like a really tough you know uh, method for me at least to like go and see people meet people you know. you know I go to college using the public bus so back then I had like my bicycle now it's just all rusty the the handle thingy is snapped out and you know I can't ride it anymore I miss those days, man, you know, everything was much more real, you know, everything was in front of your face, you know, the times, the moments, the, 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 the everything that I've enjoyed is just with my friends, you know, I haven't had a vacation with my family and it's just like, what am I going to do just to ha just to heal this you know emotionless life you know this misery that I'm going through you know, you know every single friend of mine they live they live like a bit a bit far you know like it's it's not a stone's throw away kind of a uh you know kind 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 of a uh, length or it's hard for me to think now i mean we're not so close in distance but still you know we still have like a bond that still stands out, you know. I only have like one friend who can, you know, still be a friend 
no matter where, no matter when, you know, doesn't matter how old we are. It's this is like our thirteenth year friendship kind of a uh time duration thingy, whatever, you know. We we our friendship ha ha at lasted more than a decade and to me it's 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 unbelievable because it's even though it's it's really <laughs> rare, you know. I get to keep a friend, I get to have a friend for at least you know, half a month, a year or so, you know, and uh, the more, you know, grateful friends that I have, you know, who are still willing to, ha you know, uh, be friends with me, they, you know, they check on me ev uh, every now and then, you know, like every single week, every single day, you know. They ask like, "How are you?" and stuff like that. You know, how's life? You know, life's been shit. <laughs> but all I can say about myself is that it's hard to find like a a, a real friend. You know, a friend where uh, who you can actually be with. You know, y you can be yourself with. They 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 don't. You know, they don't care about who you are, but still support you in what you're doing, you know. You wouldn't give a fuck about who we are or who I am. You wouldn't give a fuck about who I am, but still, you wanted to become my friend. And you wanted to support what I'm doing because it's fun and doing it with you would be even more fun, you know. Sometimes it's uh, hard for me to actually like balance thing out because there's like one part of my life that really opposites the other. It it, it just it, it it's it doesn't relate, you know. My dreams of becoming, you know, uh, in meme loving and game fuel you know, internet user, you know, plus me being this, you know, uh, college student who's actually uh, trying to study in culinary arts and cooking, which is, doesn't balance thing and doesn't relate at all, you know, and it's... <laughs> It, it it's weird for me uh it's weird for people to actually find it you know even for me it's still weird but you know i i still try to like find like some kind of opportunity for me actually to use to actually uh go and see seek uh different uh choices and paths in life that i can just like you know have you know if one opportunity dies before the other one you know i can take the other one but i will still miss that opportunity you know i've wasted you know a part of my life trying to get that opportunity i couldn't get both but i lost one and now i can only keep the other one and it's still like half uh processed uh, i think it's the right word i guess you know like i'm not focused to one single thing i'm focused to many things at the same time you know you know it's 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 for me to actually choose for once you know like everybody has a choice and i know that you know and what do i choose you know i choose to stick with what i know best 
you know, I couldn't choose one. I couldn't choose one, but still, I can somehow manage to like go through all this and uh, have you know uh, all these great uh, for uh, opportunities being with creative people in my life and seeing uh, people with bright minds and stuff like that it's uh it's it's just something for me to actually uh inspire from at least you know i i wanted it to be like in front of my face i want it to be real i want physical you know like i can see it with my eyes i can smell it i can touch it i can hear it i can sense it you know inspiring from one computer screen you know wouldn't you know uh, affect me much bef- uh, as if uh, as before you know just by looking at a vi- uh, YouTube video of someone with no limbs can actually uh, do a lot more work <laughs> than I do really do inspires me but if I look at it again or something amazing fascinating inspiring like that now is it doesn't affect me at all you know it's just that's not me (laughs) i have limbs i have hopes i have dreams do i have the effort do i have the support can i actually go through all of this bullshit you know, without snapping out or having a breakdown, you know, it's... The human emotions is really complicated at sometimes, and the way they uh, choose their paths is... is It's very complicated, and it's, it's very questionable at sometimes, you know. It's like trying to find uh, the meaning of life and yet even though you still know what the meaning of life is, you still don't understand it, you know. You cannot find a single reason. Is that actually like the reason of life? Life itself? Your life? Life in general? You know? It's humans they they <laughs> they change every single decade every single century you know with generations you know with the changes that comes uh with technology and science uh space discovery and all that stuff you know knowledge you know we might not have uh we might not have like the vast knowledge that we might know in the next few generations you know like we don't we might not have like the technology but we can still use what we have now and appreciate it still you know i still believe that there is like a new generation that can carry on and uh we as the current genera- generation can support that generation somehow you know you know it's it's hard you know for like uh the current generation to support the next generation because like they don't have like the similar understanding and uh sometimes they cannot <laughs> agree uh in some cases some issues and stuff because they have different points of views and of course looking from a younger pers- person's perspective it's always going to be different than someone who's experienced and have lived longer in this world you know experience the pa- uh the past history and all that stuff you know 
and they don't know if they are ready to take uh, the next step to actually support the new generations and actually carry on uh, believing that uh, the survi- uh, uh, humanity, uh, the survival of the human race, uh, technology and all that stuff can actually, you know, uh, climb up even more. They, they can upgrade it, they can change it into something better or something it's it's something that's you know dying at the moment you know where you know older people uh have no <laughs> have faith in the younger generations it's it's hard <laughs> i mean like from a perspective, political issues, they don't change whatsoever, you know, the old generations, uh, the, uh, the, pa- uh, the old uh, generations, uh, people, they, they still won't let the young people control, you know, political issues uh, firsthand, you know, because of you know what <laughs> what they have done uh before maybe it's uh like the problems they've made the issues the the background uh of that person that generation or whatsoever you know because these older people have gone through experience like a uh, uh, world war and uh the, the economic uh, depression thingy where you know stocks was like shit <laughs> I don't even know about it okay still until now I'm still trying to figure out about like the economy how it relates with the gas crisis back then in 1980 1970 or something you know the o- the oil gas crisis is it's how it became that and how we still have gas now and now we know that it's going to be another gas or oil crisis in the in the near future you know with all uh the oil and gas is g- uh, gonna be depleted soon enough and we all have to like use renew uh renewable energy sources like electricity bio uh, degradable energy and stuff like that i don't know but still you know there's uh i w- uh there is a lot of possibilities and opportunities for that to actually happen you know and i believe and i know for a fact that you know we will change from using petrol to using other stuff like electricity and all that st- uh anything that's renewable you know uh <laughs> nuclear cars will not be invented in the next few centuries i guess i don't know i mean like to actually handle that much of you know energy even like the smallest, tiniest, you know, bit of nuclear, like uranium or something, plutonium, it's really expensive, okay, and it's hard to find, <laughs> at least, what I know at least, you know, is like it's hard to find uh, these, you know, r- radioactive energy thingy, and to actually contain it and use it for good without leaking any radiation you know and making like problems uh people are complaining oh there's uh radiation leaking from my car and it's just like oh no we're gonna die eventually <laughs> soon enough i mean like just imagine nuclear bombs everywhere you just need to know uh, just a few you know tinkering and stuff like that 
and basically you have a ticking time nuclear bomb moving around at the speed of a supercar or something and it can basically go from one point to another really fast including uh, with the uh, designated professional driver on hand you know you can start this uh, vehicular warfare or something and make terror in the world you know I still enjoy all these talks that I have you know when I'm alone you know it's it's just something that just you know triggers my mind and just like oh I wonder what what people are gonna do next you know it's just another uh, thing for me at least to share for uh, with people you know which kind of reminds me of like uh, you know people can't share a lot of things to, uh, that much to, uh, right now you know like people right now there's like not a lot of honest people as I would say you know like there's not a lot of honest people in the media Okay, well, that's that's obvious. Everybody knows that, you know. Uh, but I try to actually fix it, you know. Maybe not the media, but maybe in the community, you know. Even the, ga- the gaming community, my community, well, my community meaning uh, some Discord server under a moderator of sort you know who doesn't admit that he is the uh, the moderator because you know he doesn't want to get uh, be blamed if anything happens you know anything bad happens in the in the server or anything you know something did happen at least you know something actually happened in the server uh at least as uh, the moderator getting hacked uh i'm not sure if it's real or not but from my point of view it could be real i guess you know and from where i'm sitting it's probably just the best if you could actually like find a solution quickly and try to neutralize everything you know I'm I'm trying to pacify, I'm trying to, you know, neutralize, trying to balance between one, you know, team to the opposite one, you know, from one party and the opposite party. Trying to, like, balance things out so they can actually work together for once. And if they ever had a problem, they can actually, like, come to a close and find a proper solution rather than fighting over each other finding another kind of mistake one party actually have done before in the past and try to make that as an excuse you know for them to actually win the argument or whatever it is you know even if it's like a simple argument that can actually make uh turn one server into like a complete toxic uh wasteland filled with uh really awful stuff to say and all that stuff you know it's i i don't know <laughs> I just wanted to share all my uh, thoughts with people at least, come on, you know. I mean, who's going to ever listen to a guy like me saying all this shit, you know, to the camera and all, you know. It's it's <laughs> It's sad, you know, it's sad. Oh, Alexa, play something. Oh. This is so sad, Alexa, play something. You know, it's... I'm over that, you know, like... You gotta stop it.
I mean, like right now, I'm being honest. Is it, is it too much to ask for me to actually being honest with my friends? You know, some guy just recently uh, took me away from all the friend, uh, from my friend community. You know, his, you know, friend circle that he has made. You know. That I was a part in, I was like a participant, a member, and thinking that I would still, you know, be there for a, w- a long time without getting banned or, you know, banished or anything, you know, cursed, you know, it's it's <laughs> like what the fuck. All I wanted was like a a, a place where I can actually. You know, share my thoughts and opinions and actually try to help these people, my friends, okay? If I can volunteer, if I can do volunteer work in the SEA Games, why can I do it? Why can I volunteer or help people through online, through the internet? It's much easier, but it seems that, you know, people just doesn't want your help. You know, people just make fun of it. You know, it's like, ah, oh, you're trying to help. Yeah, good luck. I'm banning you. Why? Because you're not actually being helpful. Sorry. And in truth, they're not being sorry at all. I don't know. They can't read their heart at this point. You know, at this moment. I mean, I can understand people, you know. Especially like this. Because this is like the uh, the place where like all the new generation people actually come and communicate. Create their own, uh, their own community. Uh, to actually fight back with... Uh, try, uh, fight back or maybe... Uh, try to uh, make a difference in the world at least, you know, sharing ideas and opinions, thoughts and stuff. It's it's hard, <laughs> you know, just to stick into the community without, you know, uh, joking around and stuff. The only time that they're uh, serious is when it's like the unnecessary stuff, you know, it's just like mostly gaming and stuff like that you know and at least because i've only joined one single discord server and i haven't even made an official active discord server for myself you know for actually uh people to join in and all that uh jizz is 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 yeah (laughs) it it's how can I say this? It's it's still I can't manage it all, you know. I'm still I- even with Discord, even though I've been using Discord for like 2 years or so, I still don't know how to use Discord. Okay, and I still don't understand uh how it is, you know. It's like there's no like a like <laughs> I mean, like, there is rules and regulations, terms and conditions, but there's no, like, some kind of, like, a tutorial thingy where you can actually, like, you know, uh, do and remind people or something like that. There's no, like, a manual uh, which I can actually read. <laughs> I mean, like... It, I I I'm like the guy who just wants things to be in front of my face even if it's obvious that I could basically learn it myself maybe because I can't <laughs> okay maybe at not at the moment not at the time I have like to focus one thing uh one thing at a time and still uh <laughs> it's it's still it's still hard for me, you know, to keep up with people, uh, young generations, the old generation, and my generation, you know, trying to create that community where we actually shared our thoughts together, we can actually, like, come to a conclusion where we can actually stand in one single, 
uh, community without fighting each other. And if we ever had like some kind of uh, argument or agreement that we cannot agree with, we can just like try to settle it uh, reasonably and not fighting each other, you know, and finding each other's mistake, you know, everywhere. It doesn't matter if it's like on the internet or in real life, you know. I mean, like, still up to this point, you know, uh, I still wouldn't use like uh, real information to blackmail people or to actually use it as. Uh, some some kind of a <coughs> yeah blackmail kind of a deal like trying to fight back using that information because they have done shit like this before in their life and they don't know about a single shit about it whatsoever it's yeah it's <laughs> i haven't you i haven't used it until like a few times before and if i didn't notice I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It was the emotions. The emotion was just rolling. And I couldn't help it. I couldn't help myself using those op uh, opportunities. You know, it was a terrible one. But still, it was an open one. I, I, I can still use it somehow. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, bad guy stress boy you know because he's stressed what can you do can you help him for once try to make him calm down for a moment you know how do you calm him down how do you calm a stressed person down how how <laughs> i hope this still works it it's I'm trying to keep up, okay? I'm trying to keep up with people, okay? Friends, families, colleagues, everyone, myself, okay? I'm not the guy who can just like, you know, fix a, fi uh, solve a problem in like that. I don't, I can't, okay? I can only share ideas, you know, make... <laughs> I think it's just like make more problems, I guess. It's just like making more problems for people. And it's... What? It's an idea. It's it's something that I can actually share with people at least. You know? You know, try to contribute with the community. And for me to actually, you know, uh, 